We are still hanging out with the incredible team at Marine Dynamics, uh, Shark and Whales Tours. And we are now out on the open ocean and we are going to do a shark dive. So we've got a lot of technology going on here right now with this world's most exciting classroom event. We are in Hans Bay, uh, about two hours or so from Cape Town where the Oosters Day is at the VNA waterfront. And we have our ROV hooked up. We've got me here on the boat. And what we're gonna try and do uh, is head underwater where we have some bronze whalers waiting for us. So we're gonna do our best to broadcast this live to you uh, right now. So what that means is I'm gonna make a few switches here. You're gonna see my camera switch a little bit uh, and I'm gonna get right into the water because we don't wanna mess around. We've got stuff happening, so we want to be there for it. So the screen might go black to start. Oh, no, nope, there we go. It's going right to the ROV. So the ROV is there waiting for me. You can see they're chumming the water. They've got some salmon in the water. Um, you can see the cage there uh, with some customers on board. Uh, the birds, of course, are very, very interested. And now I'm going to head out there. I'm going to pass off the microphone to Susie, uh, who is going to talk a little bit about what we're seeing. So I'm going to get my hood on, get my mask on, take the RV into the water, uh, and then we're going to show you what's happening under the water. This is pretty darn cool. This connectivity is looking really good here out in the ocean. Uh, a beautiful satellite connection. So uh, here we go. We can turn around and go backwards. Like a ladder. We're going to walk down one step at a time. All right, sorry, guys. Just going to Beautiful. And as I said, oh, this is a big female. Large female, guys, with a few of those uh, bite injuries that could be mating wounds. And you guys can see when they turn on the side, the counter shading I talked about, white underneath, dark on top to perfectly camouflage. For one of these females to reach sexual maturity, they have to be 19 to 20 years, guys. Okay. So very low reproductive rate, and it takes some years to be able to reproduce. <laughs> Also, big female again. And there you can see those bites on the back there. There's a big one, yes. <laughs> Early, all the small fish here is mullets. All the small fish. There we go on the other side. <laughs> so as I mentioned, they have small hook teeth. So the thing is, if they do get a hold of the bait line, it normally just glides straight through. Okay, they can't really get a good grip. There we go, by the bait. But they don't stay here all year round. They continuously move in and out of the bay. And you see the bait is still there. <laughs> it's fine. It glides straight through. And also, guys, if you didn't know, these sharks continuously have to move to stay alive. It is called REM ventilation, and that is to get oxygen flow floating over their gills. That is how they stay alive, guys. Yeah, that's a juvenile. Oh, 
So also with the smaller sharks we see here, guys, they have a very low growth rate. Takes them years to reach that size. So the smallest one we have around can still be over five years of age. That's our male again, guys. You see that bite on the top there. And he has claspers. That is the reproductive organ, guys. There we go. Beautiful. There's our male again. And this is a large male, okay. Of course, female sharks, they grow larger and heavier than the males, but this is quite a nice size when it comes to being a male. Are you guys still okay in there? Oh, yeah. Again, <laughs> all right, good. Yeah, look at that one. Also, mating wounds on that female. You see the bite injuries. I will also mention conservation efforts. How you guys can also help out if you want today. But yeah, good activity, guys. As I said, this is good visibility for our area. Two days ago, it was half a meter. Okay. So luckily it has cleared up. <laughs> there is a juvenile. Four sharks. And the seals are four, six, seven. All right, so I just counted seven sharks right here now. All right. And there's a female again with those mating injuries. And there's our male. Yeah, it's a very nice size male. <coughs> and you can see everyone how quickly the sharks can turn and move. That is because sharks don't have a bony skeleton. They're fully cartilaginous, okay? So that's why they're so flexible. All right, let's get you guys ready. Okay, so one arm, head down. Okay. See, so yeah, one arm, head down. For the seal piece. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hold it in the front, hold it there. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that live experience. It was amazing to be in the water with the bronze whalers. Um, everybody around was pretty excited to have a chance to see them. Uh, experiences like this are so important for people to be able to come out, experience the ocean, see these amazing sharks, realize some of the myths and stories we hear about them aren't true, uh, and to realize that they're actually in a lot of trouble. We're removing upwards of 100 million sharks from our oceans every single year. Um, so it's a really, really big deal. And it's great that we have organizations uh, like Marine Dynamics, Shark and Whale Tours, to be able to take people out to experience the beauty of the oceans.